them holler boys Holler if you need something done Holler if you need a chip on a shoulder Or a hand with a loaded gun What's happening beautiful people? This is Grateful Panic I'm so glad you stopped by today, and I hope by the end of the video, you are too. Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Microtech Halo 6. Go ahead and get this out so you guys have something to look at. And this was provided by KJ, uh, KJ Kyle J. Lamphere, and this is his personal knife this was provided out of his own collection by way of the apex pass around group so big shout out to kyle and uh the apex pass around group big shout out to david a blade banner for heading all that up and basically uh, i swear he goes without sleep i don't know when the man ever has five minutes to sleep but before we get down to the meat and taters of this this bad boy here uh, we need to go ahead and get a quick panic dump and beverage check out of the way. So to see what all the hype was about with this voiceover, I decided to try it. And here you see I am carrying the Finch Holiday and Black Camdus Micarta. You see that nice pocket clip there and the smooth action. Next up will be my slip joint carry, which was the Rough Rider Micarta work knife in black linen micarta. You see the lovely, lovely worn cliff blade shape there. You see that nice snappy action and the glorious polished micarta. And next up is going to be the flashlight which was the Eagle Tac D25C in titanium. You see that lovely strobe. And the tail switch actually glows which I'm trying to show you guys here but it doesn't seem to be it's glowing a tiny bit but I keep trying to get it to glow more and it just doesn't work guys so I'll show you one last time uh, glowing a little bit oh well what do you do screw it and last but not least is my Fisher Space Pen and Alux Cadet in a lovely caddy made by Eric Holiday of Holiday Leatherworks you see the nice emblem there the logo and that'll do it for the panic dump. And our beverage of the day is going to be the Terrapin Brewing Company uh, Recreation Ale. And it's a session IPA, so a little, <clears throat> little bit lower alcohol content. So for to drink more, I guess. But these are these are pretty stout, and I don't think I could drink more than about three or four of them before I'm sick of them um, <clears throat> and I know our good buddy uh, John Scarborough who's been who's one of the original GP family members uh, he might enjoy the occasional IPA so brother John boy cheers So let's go ahead and get into it and see what we got here. And this is the Microtech Halo 6. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I believe in a previous video I uh, mistakenly called this the Halo 5, but it is in fact the Halo 6. And with the Halo 6, we have 10 and a half inches of overall length. I mean, <laughs> this thing will barely stay in frame um, so almost 11 inches of knife here we've got four and three eighths blade length we got three quarters inch blade width and this is the hellhound blade uh, for those of you who don't really know microtech which i don't know microtech i had to look it up <clears throat> we've got a uh, hundred seventy thousandths blade stock so this is actually ten thousandths thicker than the Curtis, which is crazy. Got a handle length of six and one eighth inches. Got a handle width of an inch and a quarter. 
we have a handle thickness of 510 thousandths, so just a tiny bit, just a skosh over half an inch. And it is an aluminum handle. And from what I'm reading, the Halo 6 was M390 blade steel. I could be wrong, but that's the only information that I could find on it. Um, and basically, this is a single action OTF, which means you hit the button, it comes out, but you can't hit the button to retract the blade. You have to actually uh, push the firing button and then pull the plunger there to charge it. And I'm going to tell you, well, let's get a weight on it real quick. Say hello to Cletus. Hello, Cletus. Hello. And grams wise, we're looking at 173.8 grams. And six point one three ounces now the website said five point nine but I mean that's I think that's close enough Cletus might be weighing a tad bit heavy put him on a diet but yeah this is a, a crazy cool uh, OTF and I'm not a big OTF fan well, I mean that's just that's just nifty as crap I mean this thing rockets out when you hit that that fire button it rockets out and I mean it you can feel it in your arm it's like a <clears throat> like a small shotgun going off in your hand um, and I think it's cool I, would I EDC this you know what heck yeah I would I'd probably get a I'd probably get a little fancy holster you know kind of like a a lightsaber holster and I'd all right that's enough of that um but yeah i mean if, if i had the means i would totally edc this not every day but on occasion just to kind of show it off because i think it's pretty daggum neat i'm not a big otf fan but you know i would i would totally rock one of these just because it's bordering on ridiculous with the size that it is and i think that's that's pretty cool and another thing that's cool is there's no, like the billboarding is a minimum. You got, you know, this Microtech logo here. But on the blade, I mean, there's absolutely nothing. Got no blade steel, no manufacturer, no model, no made in. Uh, everything is right here, if you can see it. One guy, don't do me like that. But basically, if you can kind of make that out, you know, it's got the, the signature right there. There we go. Then Halo 6, the patent number, and the birth date. So I think that's pretty nifty. But it still doesn't have the blade steel. I guess they just expect you to know uh, or whatever. But yeah, man, I, I if if. I ended up owning one of these it would more than likely end up being you know my uh, couch fidget toy to sit there and fire over and over sitting on the couch watching a movie or whatever annoying the crap out of whoever's watching the movie with me but yeah I mean it's a it's a killer knife and a big shout out to Kyle J Lanfear again for providing this because otherwise I probably would have never got my hands on one and I think it's it's a cool experience. If you ever get a chance to, if you can't afford this, if you're like me and you can't afford this type of knife, but, uh, or it's just really not in your budget, but you get a chance to go buy a knife shop that carries them, definitely go by and check them out. Cause I mean, it's, it's worth, a, it's worth a getting it in your hand and firing it a few times. It's, it's really neat. So, um, yeah, for, for what it is, you know, it gets the, the Grateful Panic seal of approval of one and three quarters thumbs up, which I'm working on nine tenths and three quarters, whatever that would be. But yeah, uh, it's a it's a killer knife, really cool to play with. Don't know how functional and useful it would be in you know your everyday carry, but it's definitely a cool knife to have in the collection, and I I, I definitely recommend it. Um, and that's about it on that review. Another thing I wanted to bring up is 
I've been doing some modding and I modded this squid specifically to sale. It was uh, just a brand new, the new squid holy version or whatever, but I bronzed the show side scale and the hardware, the thumb studs and the pocket clip and acid etched and stonewashed the lock side and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this which it's I mean it's not broken in good but yeah I replaced the Teflon washers with phosphor bronze washers and now don't make me a liar because it will it will spidey flick I swear it will spidey flick um but yeah just uh if anybody's interested, I don't know if this is your your bag or not, but it's $50 shipped. And if you would like it, you can either DM me on Instagram or hit up my excuse me um, email, which will I'll put the email address in the description. But yeah, just just something to kind of pass the time and maybe start a little little side business. And I might even do a, kind of a how-to video on bronzing hardware and such in the f future, which it's not going to be a, so much of this is how you do it type thing. It's just going to be kind of a how I figured out with using common sense and my very, very limited uh, knowledge on metallurgy, how I kind of figured out how to do it. <clears throat> so... And that might be something interesting to check out. But other than that, guys, I think that's it. And like I said, I appreciate you stopping by. You guys are more than welcome back anytime. And I appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, just hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Drop me a comment down below because I love talking to you guys. I uh, love interacting with you in the comments and anywhere else on Instagram. Uh, if you find me on Instagram, it's just at Grateful Panic. Uh, DM me anytime. I'm more than happy to talk to you. So with that being said, guys, uh, that about does it. We're going to call it a day and look forward to see you guys again next time. And until next time, how about EDC your ass off and do something nice for somebody. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. We'll be out that screen door, no shirt off, leaving two black marks down a Yeah, we, yeah, we